In the summer of 1955, Andy Petrol drowned during a senior class picnic shortly before high school graduation. While swimming in a cold lake, he became entangled in weeds and mud on the lake bed. Despite his efforts, he couldn't free himself. Then a voice urged him to let go. Surrendering Andy felt himself leaving his body, entering a dark tunnel towards a radiant light. Instantly, he felt warmth, joy, and overwhelming love. Without judgment, he reviewed his entire life and merged with the light, gaining profound understanding of the universe. Reluctantly, the light told him he must return. Andy resisted but suddenly found himself back on earth, coughing up water on the sandy beach. Here is the real story of this man in his own words. He describes his near-death experience and uncovers the secret of ultimate truth about the purpose of our souls and the consciousness. In the summer of 1955, just days before my high school graduation in Redford Township, Michigan, I experienced an event that changed my life forever. This memory remains vivid and clear despite my efforts to forget. My drowning and the subsequent death was the most powerful experience of my life. My classmates and I were excited about our upcoming graduation. June was unusually warm, so we planned a final class picnic at a nearby lake. My mother was worried and didn't want me to go, fearing the cold water, but as a class officer, I felt I had to attend. I packed my swimming trunks secretly and headed out. The day was perfect, clear skies, a gentle breeze and bright sunshine. After lunch, some friends swam out to a floating dock and urged me to join them. I hesitated. The water was freezing but their insistence made me dive in. As I swam, cramps started in my stomach and groin. I remembered my mother's warning about swimming after eating. The pain intensified, making it hard to kick. Panic set in as I began swallowing water. I was drowning. Desperately, I tried to reach the surface, but my lungs filled with water. I saw my friends waving, unaware of my distress. I was sinking deeper, the pain unbearable. Everything turned black. I struggled, tangled in the weeds at the lake's bottom. My hands stuck in the mud. Panic consumed me. Exhausted and in pain, I needed to rest. Suddenly, a voice said, Okay, Andy, you can rest if you promise to return to the struggle. I promised, and as soon as I let go, I was hurled into a black tunnel. The cold vanished, replaced by warmth. The pain disappeared, replaced by wonder. I saw a bright light like a thousand suns. I looked back and saw my body in the weeds. I was moving towards the light, feeling no fear, only love. Entering the light, I felt an overwhelming sense of peace. The light knew me called me by name and loved me unconditionally. I was home. But then the light told me I had to go back. I resisted, but the light insisted. The next moment I was back on the beach coughing up water, surrounded by my friends. I felt immense sadness missing the light's warmth and love. I couldn't explain the light to anyone. They would think I was crazy. So I lied, saying I remembered nothing. I even went back into the cold water to prove I wasn't afraid. But I was deeply sad. Years passed, but the memory of the light remained vivid. It was an experience of inexpressible love, something worse could never capture. 
I was one with the light, and the light was God. For twenty years after my near-death experience NDE, I lived in fear, thinking I was the only one who had ever experienced such a thing. It was a lonely and frightening time. But then I read Dr. Raymond Moody's book, Life After Life, and realized my experience had a name, a near-death experience. The fear dissipated, replaced by a sense of joy. Here I am highlighting some distinct memories and experiences from my journey that stand out and together they create a beautiful mosaic of my drowning, death and return. A continuous stream of consciousness. I never lost consciousness during the entire ordeal. From when I let go while stuck in the mud at the lake's bottom until I was cuffing water on the beach. Unlike the times I have been unconscious since, I was fully aware of every incident and my surroundings during the NDE. Instantaneous Transitions Every transition from terror to bliss, from the cold darkness of death to a warm loving light, and black again was instantaneous. There were no time delays. I was simply there, moving between states instantly, from terror to peace. The instant I saw the light, all my fear, terror and coldness vanished. I was at peace, as warm as toast. The terror was just a memory, insignificant compared to the light's embrace. The pain and the fear melted away making the journey to the light worthwhile. Physical Body Sensations Throughout my NDE, I experienced familiar physical sensations in my new body. I felt warmth, the brightness of the light, and the absence of pain. I was like stepping into a warm room after being out in a snowstorm. I could see perfectly with both eyes something I had never experienced before due to a birth injury. Life Review I relived every moment of my life with complete sensory detail. Every emotion, joy and sorrow was re-experienced. It was a seamless, enlightening journey through my countless lives, all happening simultaneously but individually perceivable. No judgment, guilt, blame, or shame. Raised as a Roman Catholic teenager, I had a lot of guilt. But during my life review, there was no judgment or shame. My actions were just choices that either worked or didn't. They were simply part of my journey, fostering love and joy or fear and pain. Being one with the light, but still being me. The light spoke to me, saying, Andy, don't be afraid. Andy, I love you. And Andy, we love you. I felt absorbed into the light, becoming one with it while retaining my sense of self. It was a phenomena that can only be truly experienced in the timeless space within the light. The light, unrecognizable but familiar. The light felt both new and familiar. Its face, voice, laugh and smile were unknown yet remembered, filling me with memories of love and joy. The light had a sense of humor, making our time together joyous. We laughed and enjoyed each other's presence, sharing an unconditional love and oneness that knew no bounds. Being at home. In the light, everything felt like a homecoming. Each experience brought back memories of familiarity, making me feel like I was returning home after a long time away. Complete universal knowledge. I had instantaneous knowledge of everything that was, is, or ever will be. There were no questions because 
I knew everything the light knew. Unconditional love. The love I felt from the light was personal and unconditional. I loved myself unconditionally, losing any sense of right or wrong. My lives were just events, some joyous, others sorrowful, but none judged. Instantaneous return. Just as I had let go and entered the tunnel and light, I returned to the beach instantaneously. I have no recollection of what happened to my body at the lake's bottom, only of being back on the beach, coughing water out of my lungs. No fear of death. I have no fear of death. Having had many close calls since my NDE, I am always ready to go. When the time comes, I will breathe my last breath and let go again. But this time, I want to return to earth. I will stay in the eternal now, filled with the joy of being one with the light.